Welcome everyone, maybe in a situation where you have blurry graphics on the Xbox Series S. So the first thing is I want you to go to settings and once you're inside the settings, navigate to general, TV and display options and make sure the resolution is set to the highest possible. So if it's set to like 720p or something like that, then of course the low resolution means the graphics are going to be more blurry. That's something to keep in mind. So just make sure you get this changed here. And another thing as well is video mode. What you want to do is if you have this allow YCC 4 comma 2 from uh, comma 2, turn that one on. If you can enable HDR 10, you turn it on and also turn on auto HDR as well. Then you have here video fidelity. So what this means is you can see here we have the uh, color depth. So think about this. In fact, I don't know what I'm talking about, but you know, the higher the color depth, basically, the better the quality. So you just want to set this to the highest possible. Now, sometimes your TV may not support the higher color depth. I might mine supports the max one. So you can see I can set that, and you can see obviously I see the signal as well. However, if you just see a black screen wait, and then it's going to revert your settings. Also, color space. I want to set this to PC RGB. I haven't done that. Um, so I'm a bit lazy, but on my personal Xbox, I have done that and I definitely recommend you do that. If you're having issues, like it does show a message uh, after you change it saying like the colors may be black and stuff like that. You just want to, you know, just leave it as it is and just revert it. And then you also have the display. If for some reason, you know, the Series S may be glitching, mo you, you will be using HDMI most likely. So you just select HDMI. If you're using DVI, then, you know, select DVI and that may also fix the problem. Now, if you've done all those troubleshooting and you open up the game and, you know, it's the same deal, then what I recommend you do is just, like, try another game. So, here's the deal, right? Some games may have multiple graphics options. So, on a Series S, there are two modes. There's quality mode and there's performance mode. So, if you've ever used Halo Infinite before, you have uh, the performance mode, which is high frame rate, low resolution, which means it's going to look more blurry. However... The high frame rate is the big selling factor. Then you have a uh, 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 graphics mode, and graphics mode means lower frame rate. So in that case, it's 30 FPS. However, higher resolution and high graphics as well. So if you load up the game that's having that blurry graphics, what you want to do is you just want to see if that's available. If it is, switch around it. So usually it's in the start menu somewhere. You just navigate to like graphics. It will, you'll, you'll find it. And if you can't find it, you can always search up, you know, how to change the graphics mode on my game. However, it may not be a game issue, it may be your X or X, Xbox Series S. So before you mess around with that, I mean, you can try that right now, but before, you know, you know for sure it's the actual game, try another game. There's a bunch of free games on, you know, the store, you have Fortnite, uh, if you have the Xbox Series S uh, Game Pass, you can like try a ton of stuff, and you may be like, oh, well, that's paid, but you can literally get for one pound for the first month, then 10 pound later. I use that personally, so I was like, hey, might as well. The game price is okay, but I don't want to be spending £10 a month. Like, you know, I don't want to go on a rant. You know, you do you if you want to buy it. But there's a bunch of free games on the store. Try the three games, Apex Legends, Fortnite. There's two games right there. See if both games have the issue. If they both have the issue, it could be your HDMI cable. So if it's your HDMI cable, what can you do? Well, first of all, you can just unplug the HDMI cable after you turn off the Xbox Series S. You turn off by um, holding down the Xbox logo on the controller the navigate to the console and after the led on the uh, uh, xbox is turned off you just unplug the hdmi cable unplug it from the tv then try it again you know plug it back in see if that fixes the issue if it doesn't work you want to check uh, on your hdmi are you plugging in your hdmi cable uh, from the xbox series s directly to the tv or do you have an adapter which allows you to connect more hdmi cables because that adapter may be causing your quality to be lowered uh, than your highest available Therefore, you're getting a blurry issue. So you may need, or you may want to try, if you aren't already, connecting the HDMI cable directly to the TV or monitor. Of course, may not be you know the most convenient, but at the end of the day, convenience or good quality games, you know, if that's something you need to decide. If that still doesn't work, make sure you're using the same HDMI cable which came with the Xbox Series S. You may be like, why? Why not just use this cheap, you know, one that I have? The reason why is because the Xbox Series S uses new HDMI technology known as HDMI 2.1. Most HDMI cables that you're going to get are HDMI 2.0. Now, what does this mean? Well, you can't play at high school, uh, at the 4K, uh, you know, the highest frame rate with, um, you know, HDR, all that good stuff. It will not run as well, and it may not run at all. And that's why you may be getting the blur graphics because it's trying to output quality that the HDMI cable doesn't support. Therefore, 
if you don't have the original cable, buy a HDMI 2.1 cable, very important. Uh, I recommend you get a braided one. Just get, just get a good quality one, guys. And if it doesn't work, you just refund it, right? No problem. Amazon 30-day refund, easy peasy. But uh, if you, you know, are using some cheap HDMI cable, you want to switch to the more expensive one. And if you're using a hub, what it's going to do is it's going to take that high HDMI quality and most likely you have a, ha a crappy HDMI cable plugged into the TV. So that's why I'm saying, guys, if you have, you know, the HDMI cable not plugged in directly to the TV, you need to do that uh, unless your adapter is really high quality. But for the most part, these adapters aren't made for gaming. They're just made for, like, you know, the plugging more stuff in. So I don't recommend you do that. Just plug it in directly to the TV. Now, hopefully this video did help you out. If it hasn't, I will leave the Xbox's um, Microsoft's even support thing in the description. And I recommend you check it out. They have a phone number, all that good stuff that will help you out. Now, if you do, you know, watch this guide, the fixes I said didn't work. However, you know, you called Microsoft or you message them and they had a fix that I didn't mention in this video. Because this is more like a forum, let, let, let everyone know in the comment section. Leave a comment, right, and just help other people out. Because if you had a fix to your problem that someone else is going to use, they're going to be grateful for it, right? So that's really all there is to it. Thanks for watching. See you guys later. Bye-bye.